All right, so uh, we're back here at 720p at 24 frames a second, and the reason why is, again, I have this little tiny, like, $10 US or $12 US um, IR light that I picked up uh, at Amazon. I just want to give it a try here, sort of give you an example of what this is going to do in the widest mode, and boom. So one of the things that uh, the exposure setting is going to do is it's going to automatically expose to the brightest objects in the... Uh, field of view. Um, I guess that's an attempt to not overexpose and lose some detail. Obviously you can underexpose an image if you really want to, so you can get like some bright images, but as soon as you move the camera to there, it, it, it automatically adjusts. So realistically, the uh, mode that you're going to use the most is if you go to plus two, and that's so that you can sort of see objects in the background and stuff, and uh, the foreground object is obviously going to be blown out of this world. So just a note on uh, using the exposure control because there's no real true manual control in the uh, video mode, unlike the photography mode where you can actually change the shutter. Uh, and I guess it adjusts for the ISO, but uh, yeah. And again, as you look up, you're going to see the, sorry, the clouds above. And as I move that away, it's there. Obviously, if I point it up in the air, you're going to see the reflection. That's not great. But, uh, yeah. So that tends to work. And again, I'm holding the light somewhere. I don't even know where. There it is. So yeah, this is no light. Uh, a light not even... Like, the light is pointing off the ground. Uh, it's reflecting off the grass. And then as I bring it up, uh, it goes there. So uh, one of the things I want to do is actually mount this light on the side of the camera. And that way I get this nice sort of always looking field of view. Um, has the IR light in it for times when it's like really, really dark and I want to get that extra uh, ability. And again, like I know some people are going to be like, oh, but it has an IR light that's kind of cheating. But here's the reality. Uh, unless you're actually playing against other people or you're trying to be super stealthy against other people who also have like night vision gear, uh, having an IR light like this uh, really helps you get a better picture. I'm going to take it for when I need it. Um, but obviously, uh, the more you can get away with this, the happier you will be. Just toss a little fun photo here at the end. Uh, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe. And if you do think that the uh, IR light is worthwhile, there will be an affiliate link uh, in the description of the video below. So thanks for watching.